guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to go over my September favorites, and I have quite a list, of course, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with movies first, and the first movie that is on my list is Ghostbusters. I could not wait to see this movie, and it did not let me down. I thought it was very cute and fell right in line with the original Ghostbusters. I wasn't feeling like I was missing anything. It was just really, really good. Um, the next movie was another one of these movies that I could not wait to see, and it's The Shallows. It is so good. Um, I kept telling everybody, if I would say The Shallows, I'd say, you know, it's like a, a modern day type of Jaws. And I used to love Jaws. I still love Jaws. Um, so I was so stoked to see this movie. And it was really, really good as well. So I uh, recommend seeing that. The next uh, movie on my list is not really a movie. It's a show, I guess. And it's a Netflix original. And it's Making a Murderer. And I know this has been out for a little while. Sometimes it takes me a hot minute to get on a bandwagon and watch something or whatever. So I know that a lot of people have seen this or heard about this before, but I just wanted to put my two cents in on it. I think the show was very good, very good. And um, I found myself so wrapped up in it that there was parts of the, some of the shows that I was actually so frustrated and I would get so angry that they were letting things happen and nobody was saying things or I, w I was just so into the show so I recommend if you haven't seen this to check it out again it's a Netflix original called Making a Murderer as for music, uh, music for the month of September I couldn't really nail down a certain song that I found was my favorite in September because I like so much and I have so many different genres um, but I did like fall in love with a newer band I guess you could say I've heard of them before and I've heard them do a few things and, I mean, I've heard of all of the people in the band before, but um, I just recently sat down and started really listening to a lot of their album. And it's called the Hollywood Vampire Band. Of course, Alice Cooper is the lead singer in the band. And then um, Johnny Depp sings some, I believe, and plays the guitar. And then there is, um, and I can never remember his name. I know his face. He played lead guitar for... Um, Aerosmith, Joe Perry, is that his name, I think, Joe Perry, so um, he's in the band, and so it's just the Hollywood Vampires, they do a lot of Alice Cooper remakes, um, they've got a couple of new songs, I think, and then they do some remakes of some other um, songs from some other bands, I, I just really like the mix, I like the way they sound, and I love Alice Cooper, Alice Cooper was actually the first concert I ever went and seen, Never thought I'd get to see him in concert, and I've actually got to see him three times now. So, um, if you like that kind of music and haven't heard them, look them up. You might enjoy them. So, the rest of what I've got is more beauty, um, health, hair stuff type stuff. So, um, the first products that I'm going to talk about are um, these new uh, liquid lips that I have, and they are Dose of Color. This one is in desert suede and I just love these they are liquid mattes and this is like a, a gray taupe type color um, and then this one is stone it's actually what I have on now they dry down matte and they do they are a stay on all day type situation I find that after a few hours I do need to put chapstick or something over to refresh them to keep them from peeling or whatever like you know most dry mats do um, but that's the color of the stone I just love it and I love both of these and they smell very um, vanilla chocolatey type decadent um, lip products so these are two of my new favorite lip colors and uh, lip brand those are actually the first uh, my first two colors from that line so um, the next thing is my Santee Face Primer. Um, I actually got this for a dollar on the Wish website, or not Wish, but um, Shop Miss A. And I have just really fell in love with this primer. I even actually like this primer better than the Bare Minerals Primer, so which says a lot because I love Bare Minerals. 
it puts a little um, tacky feel on your face so everything just sticks and it feels really really good so I like that and then my next two products are elf products they're elf palettes the first one is the illuminating palette which is highlights and I have fell in love with this palette um, I'm actually wearing it today um, on my cheekbones but look at that they all just have such pigment payoff it is ridiculous and you talk about shine you see that it is crazy the shimmer from these products look at the shimmer on my hand now um, <coughs> the next palette is the blush palette and it has a contour shade in it too it may be supposed to be for blush but I use it for contour because it's dark enough this is the contour shade that I use and I have used these two blushes but I love it and I find myself reaching for this every day so those are two of my favorites so the next thing I have is nail related so you guys know I got the um, gel nail stuff on the Wish website so I love my light this thing has changed my life as far as painting my nails so you'd think I'd have my nails painted now but I just actually took the nail polish off and I'm getting ready to redo them um, but the reason this has changed my life is because it takes no time for my nails to dry they cure for 30 seconds into this lot and they're dry so I love it and the next thing is a gel polish and this is from Born Pretty and um, it's very inexpensive I got this 10 milliliter bottle the cap comes off like that this is out of their um, gray series but you get this bottle and I think I paid like three or four dollars for it it's not much at all and it is a very pretty gray if you can see that I love it this is what I had on my fingers actually um, I don't love these as much as I love that Ciate polish from last month but as far as gel polishes I love these and I love the light so um, a couple of other favorites that I have are all hair related incidentally so I tried the dry shampoo I've tried the Suave before and I've tried Fruitiste before I don't like the Fruitiste the Suave is okay but it really um, leaves your hair very white looking even after you brush it out but this it does get a little light but once you brush it through the rest of your hair it's uh, wonderful it does get rid of all that oil in your hair and it smells so good so if you have color treated hair like mine and you want to keep your hair um, color vibrant and like get the longest life out of it you don't wash your hair every day I wash mine about every two to three days so in between because I have very oily complexion and oily scalp I use the dry shampoo to keep my scalp from being uh, nasty and uh, keep it fresh looking and keep my hair from looking oily so love it uh, the next thing that I have is um, an intense therapy leave-in treatment again my hair is oily but after I wash it I don't use a conditioner I just use a shampoo <coughs> because my hair is fine and if I use a conditioner a separate conditioner or something like that in my hair it um, makes it too heavy and it's just too much so um, the Pravana Nevo Intense Therapy and as you can see it's separated so what you do is you just shake it before use and mix all that up and then spray again because my hair is so fine and it's so short just a couple of spritzes and then brush it through and it works wonders my hair feels so soft but not heavy and it doesn't make it leave uh, leave it looking greasy and uh, the bottle is 100% biodegradable so it's really really good and then my last hair product is a new shampoo that I'm loving right now this is the L'Oreal um, hair expertise it's uh, the sulfate free ever strong and this is the thickening shampoo and I get the sulfate free of course because the sulfates is what washes your color out of your hair if your hair is color treated and so um, this also helps if you've got thinner hair 
Um, it smells really, really good. I like it. It feels very clean whenever I get my hair washed um, with this. It, when I wash my hair with this, it feels very clean. And um, I just like it a lot. So that is all for my favorites for the month of September. I feel like it was a lot, and there was a lot last month as well. I hope you've enjoyed these, and why don't you give me a comment below and tell me what maybe some of your favorites are from September. Or maybe if you had a fabulous moment that happened in September, you might want to share that. And don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. That really helps me a lot if you like my videos. And I hope to see you again next time. And I hope you've enjoyed. Ciao and God bless. <laughs>